Hi there, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you my recipe for smoked chicken wings. The first thing that we're going to do with it is create our brine. My brine is pretty simple, just some salt and water brine with some acid and some sweetener and herbs. And uh, as I have the prep already sitting here, let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to do, I have a, a food safe bucket with one gallon of water. I'm going to add one cup of kosher salt to it. Uh, a general ratio for me is one cup of salt per gallon of water. And this ratio pretty much works for up to 24 hours. If you were to leave it in for 36 hours or even 48 hours, the salt content would be significantly more and your food would pretty much be too salty to even eat. So what I do is I'll start stirring it to get the salt to dissolve. While I'm doing this, I'm going to add the juice of uh, three lemons, squeeze it, and then just go ahead and drop the uh, lemon right into it. We're going to want to keep mixing this around until the salt completely dissolves. Now I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of honey. Stir that around until it's incorporated. The honey will tend to stick to the bottom. So once we get that dissolved in there, I will then add the garlic. Garlic is about one half of a head. And here I have six bay leaves and one tablespoon of mixed peppercorns. And that's mixed around just fine. We do have the parsley, but we're gonna hold off on that for a minute. I'm gonna jump over to our chicken where we have to uh, prepare it a little bit. Here we have our chicken wing. As it is the whole wing section, I want to break it down uh, and separate the drummy from the wing and then from the uh, tailpiece. So the first thing I'll do is locate the joints and where it's bending and I'll take my boning knife and cut right in between there. Separate that and the same thing when it comes to the uh, tailpiece. And then your three are like that. So the drummy and the wing, we're going to keep for our for the wings. We're going to smoke those. The tail pieces, I'm not going to waste. We're going to save those for a soup or a stock. And you have a piece here, some of this uh, fat here. I'll go ahead and trim that off. This is a little piece of meat, so we'll keep that with the stock scraps. Now, if we were to deep fry these, we would probably keep a lot more of that skin on as that's going to crispen up. But because we're going to go into the smoker, it's going to be a slower cooking process and it's not really going to crisp in so much. However, we could finish them in the oven. So here is what our brine will look like. And now that we have all the chicken cut, we will go ahead and put in our chicken. This is approximately three pounds of chicken wings. Um, a little helpful hint is be careful as to how much brine you make. Uh, in the past, I know at work doing this, when I am doing, you know, two, three hundred pounds of chicken wings, uh, me and some of the team accidentally made too much brine and then didn't know what to do with it. So, I mean, you could hold it off to the side and you certainly don't want to put the product in and it overflow. So, which would make it a really bad mess. Uh, now we're going to finish it with the parsley. And then just go ahead and mix this all through, making certain the chicken is submerged and covered. And uh, from there, we uh, will put a lid on it and we will put it to our bottom shelf in our refrigerator and leave it there for 24 hours. Well, welcome. Today is smoke day. What I've done thus far is pour the excess brine off of the chicken 
and I'm about to take the chicken wings and put them onto a sheet pan lined with paper towel. What we want to do is get the chicken as dry as possible in order for the smoke to stick. If the product is wet, the smoke is still going to stick, but you really will not get that much smoke flavor on the product that you're smoking as if it were if it were dry. So you'll have a few little peppercorns, sometimes some garlic, lemon seeds, and things like that will stick to it. Not a big deal. You can pick through, bump them off. So now we'll take other paper towels and we're going to press down on them. Um, the advantage to brining when smoking is that the brine doesn't really give the chicken or the product in which you're about to smoke more flavor. What it really does is actually will actually help tenderize the meat a little better as well as keeping the juices locked inside the product. Um, there we go, we're looking dry. Now from here, I have a smokehouse rub that I, I put on the items that I'm smoking. This rub is pretty universal and can work on anything from fish to chicken, brisket, and whatever. So we'll transfer this to the bowl. And the smokehouse rub, it's just a dr all dry spice. This is mixed together. Um, kosher salt, brown sugar, cumin, chili powder, ground black pepper, ground cayenne, paprika, granulated onion, granulated garlic. Now that we have removed the chicken, we're gonna season our wings with the dried rub. Mix it around so it's evenly coated. Now that we have the chicken well seasoned, we're going to move the chicken to the smoke racks. Right now our smoker is preheated at 250 degrees and I'll go roughly two hours on this and then check from there for the internal temperature. The internal temperature you're looking for is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I typically go 160 is where I pull mine because it will carry over cook that extra few degrees and to help ensure that it's not going to overcook and come out dry. Spread these out nice so we can get some even smoke penetration all around. One more thing that I'd like to add as a great side dish to the chicken wings or any barbecue is my recipe for my smokehouse beans. Baked beans, black beans, kidney beans smoked on a Traeger grill. Join me and how I prepare that. I have a cast iron Dutch oven on medium temperature with a little bit of olive oil in it. I want to start with adding some shaved garlic. wet for a couple minutes. Gets very aromatic and will become a little translucent. Now that the garlic has become translucent and starting to develop some golden brown to it, we're going to add some diced vegetables. I have two cups of red onion, small dice, one cup of green pepper, one cup of red pepper, small dice as well. that around. Let that saute for a couple minutes. Now that our peppers and onions have cooked a little bit, I'd like to add one chopped chipotle pepper with about two tablespoons of the adobo sauce. 
Then add a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Add a quarter cup of the smokehouse rub. Add the brown sugar. And there is a half a cup of that. Let's give it a quick stir. Just trying to get all the ingredients thoroughly mixed. From there, I will add the beans. It's one can of kidney beans, one can of black beans, and one can of baked beans. The kidney beans and the black beans were drained and rinsed. The baked beans were drained a little bit. Try to get most of the liquid off. Doesn't have to be completely off. And the reason for that is because all the ingredients I'm putting here with the brown sugar and the smokehouse rub, all of that is going to make a whole new sauce. So any other sauce will just uh, kind of deteriorate your flavor profile that you're developing. And then finally, we're gonna add two cups of your favorite barbecue sauce. Mine happens to be the house-made Chipotle barbecue that we do. Let's stir this around. Once I got that incorporated, I'm gonna turn the heat off. And then we will make our way to the grill and smoker. smoker uh, with our chicken ready to go in. Smoker is set at 250 degrees and a two hour smoke time is what I don't figure it will take. Uh, I'm using hickory wood and hickory is a nice hard robust wood and the smoke comes out very very heavy and that's going to perform well with something as heavy as a chicken. Feel free to use any wood that you like. Apple, cherry, pecan, walnut, that's all good. It's just your personal preference. So two hours from now, we will have our wings perfectly smoked. We now have our smoke and we're ready to put the beans into it. Check on it periodically, maybe every 30 minutes or so. Give it a quick stir, keep it right back in. At the one hour mark, we will return, give it a stir, and then turn the temperature to 350 degrees. Well, after 24 hours of brining, about 45 minutes or so of prep, two hours of smoke, we have arrived. Our smoked chicken wings, or at least my smoked chicken wings. Um, from the rub, gets nice color. Easy to peel from the bone, yet it still has structural integrity to where it's not gonna be mushy and fall off. The um, outcome is fantastic. I'm really happy with it. Now, the uh, beans came out really good. Uh, these are vegetarian. Uh, to make them non-vegetarian, just simply start with sausage or bacon fat or duck fat, duck or anything like that. These, uh, as, they're, as they're getting cooling down a little bit, they are beginning to thicken up and they have a fantastic consistency. Taste is really good. Nice smoke flavor in the air. Serve it with any sauce that you like. Eat them naked like this, just hot sauce or your favorite barbecue sauces. Today, I've chosen to have my homemade sauces of a Chipotle barbecue. I have an Asian barbecue and this one here is a honey mustard barbecue. And below recipes for the beans, the wings, and the uh, smokehouse rub will be uh, inserted. Any questions, comments, please feel free to put, submit them below. And as always, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Yo et